Hi, hi. It's the tiny one slash species. And let's play some more Danganronpa. Okay, I'm so, so sorry that I cut the last episode short, but it was already starting to get kind of long. But uh, without any other ado, let's go see what Monokuma wants. Oh. Hey, Kyoko. Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement just now? Indeed. Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. I can't really do anything except what Monokuma tells me. Okay. So anyone else out here that I can talk to? Come on, don't lie. Okay. Is it gonna let me peek in the bathroom real quick? Probably not. I have a bad feeling about this, but I'd rather, but I'd better just get it over with and get to the gym. Mondo. Yo. Hey man, you about to head in? Yeah, has everyone already gone on ahead? Ugh, shit. Looks that way. I don't like it, but nothing good's gonna come from ignoring that gosh darn bear. Um, Mondo? Are you sure you're okay? You kinda went all out in the sauna. What? Huh? Who went all out? That doesn't even phase me. Yo. But you know... <laughs> there at the edge of hell, I promise be a promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it coming. Yo. Anyway, let's get our butts into the gym. Man, something unique must have happened between the two of them. Anyone else lurking about? Nope. Oh, it's for me. Hey, Fumi, how come you haven't gone in yet? Why is that? Mr. Naegi, don't scare me like that. Sorry, but we really should go inside. <laughs> no, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. What? I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. Damn, that's true too. I suppose. I guess we have no choice. I have to go too. Okay. <clears throat> hmm, asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Well. Indeed. What might await us this time? <laughs> he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. Um... How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife on the classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing in particular, just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here, living in blind denial day after day. Hmm. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept ta talking about how the police or whoever would come help us? How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign of whatsoever of possible rescue. Well... That's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. 
We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? Okay, you feel me. The police suck. Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful to take control even of the police. That's a very good point. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, gotta say it. <laughs> oh no. It's not like some occult mystery. It's about last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off in the space. Actually, last night you were by the kitchen, the dining hall, staring off in the space. But go on. When all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. <clears throat> what kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. God. But if I had to describe it... Could it be? It was like a construction site, I guess. A construction site? For serious? I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. Oh my god. Then you definitely made it up. Must have just been the sound of the ocean in that head of yours. <laughs> Say what? What you talking about, Toko? Oh, God. I like how he has a cup of water. Whew. He's arrived. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction. But it could have been an explosion. Huh? Yeah. Or maybe a machine gun. That can kind of sound like construction in a way. No. What are you talking about? What? Uh, 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 beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I'm fully puckered. Like a butthole, right? It's a secret, little secret. And? Fine. So let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? Say what? You don't beat around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? I had to take a trip. If you please. But before that, you mind if I vent a little? Yes. I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all the shine and luster. You're starting to sound like an infomercial. I'm thinking it's probably because of this ho-hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more s stimulation. Something ripe with danger and intrigue. I almost said stimulation, which... Same thing, right? Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? No, you're Monokuma. Today, I'm feeling black. <laughs> the next blacken hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. Oh no. For you. Hey, um. So I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate. Is there another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Yes. Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say! Just awful! Yet, that is what you did. So it's not mean or awful. You're mean, you're awful. You hear me? I don't know what you got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. God. No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. Oh God, the ball? When he did that, the ball in the back looked like it was going... <laughs> That's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? 
Now then, with your permission, let me begin. You don't have our permission. So this time it's... Bum, 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 bum. Why are you getting hot and bothered over that? Nasty. Embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating of my own and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. And those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. Are these envelopes going to be like the tapes? And we only know about certain people's, but not everybody's? Because that was kind of frustrating. I would like to know what was all in everybody else's tape. I'm going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. Actually, with Monokuma, I would kind of imagine that he would take the envelopes and he'd like toss them in the air and everybody would be like all scrambling to try to get theirs. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. It happens. What? How? How did you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. <laughs> you have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, Extreme! all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassingest secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection with a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. How can you drive, sir? Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you mean by motivate. <laughs> yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but... We'd never kill over something like that. What? What did you say? Count on it! He is right, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. Oh no. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know, no matter what, so I assumed you'd all be the same. You're a mechanical bear that explodes. And that comes back to life. What would you have that's embarrassing? Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other with this stuff? This just sucks. I love how he turns around you can see his little bear tail. <laughs> just want to reach out and boop boop boop. <laughs> Well, what can you do? Okay then, in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Will that make you feel better though? Okay. So sad, so depressed, fair not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. So funny that a uh, a stuffed toy has such a range of emotion and gets horny. Okay. I don't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um. I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing. But that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me. 
Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? Okay, you go first. Without a doubt. If we do that, all any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen. Okay, so my embarrassing thing is, oh, he is going to. <laughs> I don't want to hear your stupid story. <laughs> what? Besides, I don't... I don't want to talk about it. Sorry, I yawned. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. As for me... Neither do I. Not because it's unpleasant, but because it's impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on. It'll be good for you. Don't make her yell. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on, come on. Why is it making you horny and foamy? God, nasty. It's okay, just a little bit. Come on, come on, fun. Honestly. As I said. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, fun. Hey! Told you it's gonna make her mad. I said I don't want to talk about you, human bent lard. Say what? Yeah, you heard her. <laughs> I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. <laughs> what do you think, Chihiro? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. But... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, um... I just noticed that Chihiro is a very narrow little waist. And you don't want to talk? You don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggests it, I gotta say no. <laughs> well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret so bad you kill someone to keep it? Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but... You hear me? Each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. So, you know, um... Don't do anything hasty. Well... The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh. Um, okay, sorry. I know it's gonna be tough, but... It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Nobody's gonna be able to sleep after what you just dropped on them. Hmm. Night time already, huh? Okay, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but... We left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we head back to our room. Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why without too much of a struggle... Geez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. 
But what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. Very interesting that um, Monokuma has a uh, like a swimsuit model calendar. Morning. Good. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my God. Pretty much. <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. Dude. You're practically in Bakota's face. What? What are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. Ugh. What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun. God. Hmm. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? <laughs> Are you sure you should be acting this way back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates? What? Say what? Whoa, what? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What? What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck! Something happened to someone? Is it... Was it... No, it can't be. There's no way someone would... But what if... No, what ifs are pointless, especially now when... The dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Ah! Ah, Makoto! Um... Are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and... Yakia. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? <laughs> Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said. Or they've fallen victim to that something... Or to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps... It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um... So if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. Hm. Just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? <laughs> to judge someone else as valuable is based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? What? Why don't you just say something earlier? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. <laughs> what good does it do to me to go out of my way to help you? Just the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um... There's something wrong with him for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. 
She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. Hmm. The game's afoot. Okay. Um. <laughs> Nothing in here. No one to talk to. All right. Okay, um... Nope, no one in here. What do you have to say, Hina? So, um... I knocked on all the doors, but nobody answered. Did they all go to see what happened? Oh, then what about the second floor of the school? That's the one place that's new to all of us, so it seems like the natural place for... Okay. Oh good, it is gonna let me in. Oh, Sakura is here. There doesn't appear to be anything here. What are you doing here, Sakura? Did you find something? Hmm. Oh no. It's just that what you said the other day must have been lurking in the back of my mind. Huh? Perhaps. If something has happened, the killer might try to use this to destroy evidence again. I suppose that was flowing around my subconscious and it led me here. Good point. Check the bathroom since I love checking the bathroom so much. <laughs> no one here. Okay. Anyone in the laundry room? Nope. Turn me around for a sec. I hear. So I'm doing a real thorough looking around, but um, if I don't find somebody or something in a particular area, I'm just cutting that part out. So which is why you're just seeing me like jump to certain areas and talking to people. Yo. Hey Makoto, honestly, what do you think? Huh? About what? For serious. About Piakia, do you think he's being brainwashed or what? I don't know. You know more about this, that kind of thing than me, right? Huh? What? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you're some kind of psychic, right? Hey. Listen, Makoto, I think you've completely misunderstood what it is I do. 
Okay, listen. Fortune telling is like... Well? It's totally different from brainwashing or hypnosis or any kind of pseudo-scientific bullcrap. <sighs> I need you to understand that. Okay. So you expect me to think fortune telling isn't pseudoscience? Sorry, but I don't want to get yelled at. Okay, my dude. Okay, second floor. There's nothing here of interest, don't you agree? You should go look somewhere else. Okay. <clears throat> Leave you to your precious library. place left. Okay. Oop. Huh? The door's open, but aren't these supposed to be locked? Investigation. It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Yakia. I see. Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. Come on. <laughs> and the locker rooms? They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? It seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. 
Why would you want to start with the girls' locker room? He was muttering as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girls' locker room door. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. I hate this one, by the way. <laughs> I really hate this one. <clears throat> what? I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... Oh, Chihiro's cute little shoes. A wild, almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. The Akio, on the other hand, very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. I see. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow, and something has been written on the wall in blood. Bloodless. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How can it not be brutal? Hmm. No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. Interesting. It's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling, too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head... What the heck? Hey, I heard screaming. Did something... You were just waiting for that, weren't you, Monokuma? A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! What the hell was that? What? Ah, uh, that's right. You were unconscious during Sakura, or Sayaka's, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The body discovery announcement? Then Chihiro really is... Naturally. Dead, yes. Before you start screaming your head off, we'll round everyone up. It seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Uh. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all, at all passed. It was like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn. Damn, I couldn't keep her safe. Oh, poor Sakura. So there's another victim. Which means we are now in the same position once again. 
crap, man. What the, what the hell is this? What? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. What are you going on about, dude? <sighs> Shut up. Ugh. Can I click on that now? Come on. Just a second. Oh, wait. Hey. There's something written on the wall. Doesn't that concern you? On the wall? I was trying to click on Mondo. Hey. Wait, look at the wall. Mm -hmm. Are those letters? On the wall? Oh god! <laughs> That's all they want me to click on. The word bloodless is written on the wall in blood. So... I don't think it's any kind of dying message. Yeah, there's no way Chihiro can reach that. It's just too strange. But you know, that thing about writing bloodless and blood, does it sound kind of familiar? A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. And at the scene of each crime, the word bloodless is written in the victim's own blood. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack? Genocide Jack. The murderous fiend who grisly attacks were famous all across the country. The ultimate murderous fiend, creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings. What is this? Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? But why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. The real? Wait, are you saying Genocide Jack is here in the school? No way! There's no way! Hmm. But going so far as to write bloodless at the scene, I'm surprised at their stupidity. Well. I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. <laughs> ah. What is it now? Toko! Hina was pointing toward the entrance of the girls' locker room. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Oh no, she faints at the sight of blood. Toka was the last to arrive, and now she was just standing there. No! Why? 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 Uh-oh. Yep. She fainted. That did not sound good. Toko! Hina rushed over to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her awake. See, despite how mean Toko is, Hina still tries to be nice to her. <gasps> Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up! Oh. Um... oh, that's right. I just remember what she said about how she faints every time she sees blood. Yet, she didn't faint seeing Junko die. Okay. Oh! So is she hemophobic? I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. Uh, um... This isn't a violation of the school rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. No, I think it should be okay. The, regulation, the regulations prohibit sleeping, like on purpose. Hmm. Ah, so since she didn't faint on purpose, it doesn't count. Gotcha. Just a second! Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up. As if she heard her, Toko suddenly shot awake. As in, she literally jumped up from where she was lying. It was such a strange reaction. I was at a total loss for words. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. Um, in no time flat, she was just standing up. Ignoring the physical contortion she had to go through, her motions were totally haphazard. Huh? Huh? What? Sorry about that. I was just so shocked, you know. It happens, right? Was I the only one? Toko, are you okay? 
I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? Yes. What the heck? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. The world has a front and a back, a top inning and a bottom. The sea of truth and a web of lies. God. Well, you're useless for this investigation. Cool. Well, this is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, no, no. Everything's fine. At least the stutter is all gone. That's a good thing, right? It's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. Mm. It might be best if we take her back to her room for the time being. I love how we're having just like full blown conversation with a dead Chihiro in the background. So, um. I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? Mm hmm. If you need help, I don't mind. Um. Taka, could you help me? <laughs> huh? She totally ignored me. Because you're a perv. Hmm. Very well, you take care of the girl and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again? Hold on a second. Rushing to an investigation? Hmm. The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. Don't make me repeat There's myself. no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. <laughs> And the imposter is. <laughs> Isn't that right, Monica? Of course. Right is right. But don't take it as a bad thing. It's just a fact of life. Because Yippee! that's how graduation works. Then it's happened again. Is that what you're saying? That another one of us? Another one of us killed? A fellow classmate? Hmm? What, does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? I uh, know. Uh, is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. Uh, no. Yeah! Actually, I don't have any either. Sorry. Stop monologuing. Stop monologuing. Give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it right. <laughs> <laughs> I sure did, chum. It's the Monokuma file. Allow me to present the next Monokuma file. I know how much you must be looking forward to it. No. See ya later. So please, so please do your very tippy top best on this investigation. No way! Do we really gotta do another investigation? Examining the corpse of one of our friends? Having to suspect all our other friends? Why? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Oh, I hate no! it too! I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Hey! Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Such ignorance. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about all this. Are you not? Naturally. How can you not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. That's true, but to jump into it so soon... What? What? Do you wanna die? Such ignorance. Fine. Then go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. You're a waste of space. D damn you! A dead body is an object? Piece of shit! Jahira wasn't an object. Show a little respect or I'll beat some into you. Calm down. Everyone, stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Byakia said. Kyoko. Because. If we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are forfeit. And if Byakuya is right, then Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed Shihiro. That's right. 
then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. If we get more victims, if we mess this up, we're all dead meat. Hold on, hold on. If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. If any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? What? I don't remember any rule like that. Actually... I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would be all over, right? The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. So then... In that case... Why not limit it to one person? Hey, um... Well, in good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. <laughs> Just one would totally murder that possibility. God, had to make a pun. Punishment is waiting for you. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. Hmm. I can't say I understand his thinking, but if we can kill up to two people then one more person's life could still be in danger. <laughs> Interesting. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You son of a bitch! You need to shut the hell up. So, um... Well, for now, Taka and me are gonna drop Toko off at her room. <laughs> nice! I'm gonna get dropped off. There is nothing to be done. We have no time to stand around. We must begin our investigation toot sweet. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, is that okay? then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. Okay, um, I want to be able to pause it here before I go any further since we're almost going into close to an hour, <coughs> but let me go a little bit more until I can find a good stopping point. First of all, I better check the Monokuma file to see exactly what's going on. The victim was Chihiro Fujisaki. The time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. The body was discovered in the girls' locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. Monokuma file number two has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hmm. Hey, Makoto, do you have a second? Oh my god, dude. Huh? Do you need something from me? Naturally. Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, you know. Um, so what did you need? <laughs> I'm gonna let you cooperate with me during my investigation. Huh? What? I'm purchasing your talent. The same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. Solve? No, I just... Stop talking. You seem to have some limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation. Oh, excuse me. So you're inviting me to come with you. You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, then. Let's go. Now then, shall we get started? But we need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't really know what just happened, but it looks like I'll be working with Byakuya on this one. Okay, so this is a good stopping point. I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we begin the investigation. It might be a shorter episode than normal, and then we have the much longer episode of the class trial. So that's going to be all for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay happy, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!